All right, good evening and welcome to uh, Master Talker online class. So this is the continuation of bearing. We have we want to talk about bearing, uh, bearing from one distance to another. Okay, the first question here said the bearing of a, the bearing of a from B. Please take note of from, not the place they mentioned first, but the place from. So the bearing of A from B. So the first thing we are drawing is B itself. Okay? We are drawing B and this is my B. Okay? And they say that the bearing of B from uh, A from B is 0, 30 degrees. And it will fall in first quadrant. So 30 degrees, you now draw. And this is my 0, 30 degrees. You cut, look at you, I'm doing it. You cut a line like this and cut like this. You see the one cutting it so that it will enter the middle between this and this. Let me cut it again so you know how to cut your own, please. Once you draw the line, it goes this way. Okay, just draw a straight line that will cut here first. It will not be touching it. Then cross it. Now, if you remember alternative angle, I thought that alternative angle forms, uh, forms N like this. Here must be equal to here. So if here is 30, automatically this place is 30 degrees. Okay? And this is my A. Once you have learned this trick, you are done. Then I say, find the bearing of B now from A. B now from A. From A, the bearing is, is simply, first of all, north, south, east, and west. So you tell them, the bearing of uh, B now, but from from A is equal to watch you, south 30 degrees what west or you say that the bearing is what if you want to put it in three digits you start from the north and move oh, till you touch the line that entered there okay so it should be what 90 plus 90 180 plus the 30 that is covered so it should be what 180 plus 30 which is what uh 210 as simple as that you see bearing is very simple that is for number one so let us do number two number two look at number two they say that the bearing of b now from a from a so we are starting from a now is uh, 130 130 will enter in the second quadrant so we we'll draw it here so that it will enter in second quadrant like this so the 130 starting from here you move uh, to this place is that 130 we all uh, sorry 135 we always need the smallest or the acute angle that the horizontal makes with the line you draw okay so how do you get it you know that from here to you reach here is 180 so 180 minus the 135 180 minus 135 so what do you have you're having um five seven minus this is four so i'm having 45 so here is 45 so you will now cut it like this that's the first line you are drawing you cut it like this then before you cut this one so you see that another enemy is forming so if here is 45 here automatically should be what 45 you will now put your north south east and west so you tell them the bearing the bearing of sorry this is the bear this is the bearing of b from a this is my a and this is my B. So the bearing of A now from, from B should be what? What do you think? Not 45 degree west. As simple as that. Not 45 degree west. But let's get it in a, in three digits. Which is the same thing as what? Let's get it. You start from the north and move uh, clockwise uh, until you touch this man. So what do you think will be the answer? You know that the total circle is 360. So I will say what? 360 minus this one because this one is not part of it it stopped here minus 45 so what do i have uh 360 45 so i'm having five here one here three so 315 315 degrees so the answer could be not 45 degree west or 315 degrees any of them is correct depending on what you are seeing in your option so number three number three Number three said that the bearing of M from N from N is now 247, 245. And 245 will enter in the top quadrant. So I will draw it this side. From where? 
from n so this is my n 245 enters in the third quadrant you cut like this and then cut like this the line you are drawing does not matter how the length it doesn't matter so the what matters is how you are cutting it so and the 245 is starting from the north oh, you move oh, until you touch that man you have drawn you stop so that is my 245 degrees so i need an acute angle with the vertical so this is the acute angle with the vertical okay so and remember we don't use 270 so in third quadrant is always the angle they gave you 245 minus what 180 to get this small angle because if you come out this if you remove this side that is 180 is remaining this side since everything is 245 remove the 180 to remain this small one so you have um 245 minus 180 so i'm having um five uh 14 minus eight is six so i'm having 65 so this small place is 65 degrees so if you look at another n so if here is 65 automatically here is what 65 degrees so this is your m you are done your answer is now this is north south sorry north south east and the west so you tell them that what the bearing the bearing of n now but from where from m is equal to what not 65 degrees east or you say what to represent it in three digit means from here you move till you touch this place so and the only thing that is covered is that 65 so you say what 0 65 uh, degrees please i hope these things are not difficult i'm trying to make it simpler for you okay so that is number three so let's talk about number four number four said that the bearing of q from p is 300 and 300 will fall at the fourth quadrant so i'm going to draw it this side so this is from p from p now 300 is this side i will draw my line like this see the way i'm going to cut it cut straight first before you cut like this i seen it so the 300 is from the north you move oh, till you touch that line you draw so that is your 300 but you need an acute angle with the vertical so the acute angle with the vertical is supposed to be this person so I know that the total circle is 360. So this small person should be what? 360, 360 minus 300, which is what? 60. So here is my 60. And you are seeing your N already. So if here is 60, automatically here is what? 60 degrees. So this is my Q. So you are done. This is your north, south, east, and, uh, and west. So your answer is now what? The bearing. The bearing of uh, P now, but from Q. P from Q is equal to what? What do you think? South, 60 degrees east. South, 60 degrees east. Or you say what? Let's represent it in the, in three digits. All right, let's go. You must start from the north. You move, uh, you move until you touch that line that's entered there. You stop. So what do you think the answer will be? If from here till you stop here is 180. So 180 minus this one that is not part of it is now what you are looking for. So it should be what? 180 minus 60, which is what? 120 degrees. So here is your 120 degrees. So the answer could be south, 60 degrees. This is number four question. The answer could be south, 60 degrees is or 120 degrees. Okay? So that is that. So number five. I hope I'm making it simple. With this thing now, if you know this thing very well now, you can now draw any bearing given to you. So number five, this is the basic. Number five said, the bearing of A from B, from B now, is not uh, 45 degrees east. North and east is in the first quadrant, so I will draw it here. This is my north and my east, so I'm drawing it here now. I will cut like this and cut like this so make it straight please cut like this aha uh -huh. so that my knot 45 degree east is here 45 and if here is 45 automatically here is 45 so they said that the bearing of a from b so this is from b to a okay 
So you have gotten your answer. This is your what? Your north, south, east, and the west. So you tell them the bearing of B now, but from where? From A is equal to what is your answer? South, 45 degrees east. Or let's put it in a three digits. Or you say what? You must start from the north. You move uh, clockwise. T. You touch that line you have drawn. That's all. So your answer, since it's in the top quadrant, we don't use 270. So my answer should be 90 is covered. Another 90 is covered. 180 plus what? The 45. So my answer is what? 180 plus the 45 that is covered, which is what? I have 5 here, uh, 2 here, 225 degrees. So the answer could be 225 degrees or what? South, 45 degrees east. That is for number 5. Okay. Number 6. Number six, the bearing of N from M, from M is south, 20 degrees is south and east is in the second quadrant. So I will draw it here. So the, the bearing of um, N from M, so this is from my M, I'm drawing it here. Because here is my south and my east, okay, is what? Is 20 degrees and it must be with that south, 20 degrees. I will cut like this. And then cut like this. So if here is 20, automatically this side is 20. So this is north, south, east, and west. <laughs> this one is very simple. You've gotten your answer. You tell them that what? That the bearing, that the bearing of uh, M now, but from N. M from N is equal to what? Not 20 degrees west. Or let's get it in degrees. If you want to get it in degrees, you start from the north. I move clockwise so till you touch this man. Okay? Yeah. Since 20 is not part of it, and the total circle is 360, my answer should be what? 360 minus that 20, which is what? 340 degrees. As simple as that. So the answer could be 340 degrees or not 20 degrees uh, west. Okay? So number seven. Number seven. Number seven said the bearing of A from B from B now is south 40 degree west south and west is in the top quadrant so I will draw it here so the bearing of A from B so this is B so this is my south and west so I'm drawing my line here I will cut like this before I cut like this okay so this is the south the angle must be with the south 40 and if here is 40 automatically this side is 40 this is my north east uh, south west so you are done you tell them that the bearing the bearing of uh, b now from a b now but from from a is equal to what simple not 40 degrees east or you say what how do you represent in degrees you start from the north until you touch the line so only 40 is covered so it's 0 40 because you must put it in three digits okay <laughs> You see, these things are very, very simple. It's a very simple something. So, uh, getting and distance is the simplest topic you can offer. Okay, so number eight. Number eight, the last one. They say that the bearing of AK from Ori, from Ori is north 10 degree west. Okay? <laughs> from Ori, north and west will be fourth quadrant. So, I'm drawing it here. Remember, it's from Ori. So, this side is my Ori. And this is my north and my west. So my 10 degrees is here. I will cut like this and cut like this. So if here is 10, automatically here is 10. <laughs> you are done. This is my north, my east, my south, and my west. So you tell them the bearing, oh, mass, God bless you. The bearing of Ori now from AK is equal to what? South. 10 degrees east, that's all. South, 10 degrees what? East. Or, how do you represent it in a, in a, in three digits? How do you represent? You start from the north, you move oh, until, sorry, until you touch the line you have drawn. Until you touch the line you have drawn. So my answer is what? It's in the second quadrant, so what do you do? It's in the second quadrant, so what do you do? This is a 180 minus this. 180 minus 10, which is what? 170 degrees thank you very much for watching uh, god bless you if you have any question 
you ask on the comment section.